Building automation systems allow a facility to have centralized and automatic control of HVAC and other systems. Control Basic is the coding process that creates this automation and flexibility in our controllers running these systems. When using Control Basic program, you have options to use object references in their name format, their mnemonic format, or a mix of each. While this flexibility is great, there are cases where you will want to be able to view and edit the existing code in name or mnemonic format. In this video, we won't be focusing on how, when, or why to use the name or mnemonic formats. Instead, we are going to look at the software features that enable you to view or change the object reference formats and how those features are applied to the device's program. Let's take a look at a Conquest controller like this BAC 9311 unitary controller. Here we are looking at a heat cool program. This comes preloaded with the BAC 9311 controller. In this program, as with many of our factory programs, it is written with mnemonic object references. If you want to view this code with names instead of mnemonics, click the Name Mnemonic button on the Control Basic Editor form. This will change all object references from mnemonic to name. Looking in the output window, you will see the number of occurrences that have been converted. Keep in mind no changes have been saved to the controller, as we are just viewing the code in a different format. A save would be required in order to update the controller with these changes. Let's change this code back to mnemonics. To do so, you have a couple options. One, click the Name Mnemonic button, and this will convert your code programmatically via software. Or, another option is to click the Ctrl and Z keys together on your keyboard. Or use the Edit, Undo in the Control Basic Editor menu. We now have our code back all in mnemonics. At this point, you've seen how to convert the entire program between name and mnemonic, but in some cases, you might want to view or change just a portion or even a single object, not the entire program. For those cases, let's look at some options. First, while viewing your program, hover your cursor over the object reference. A tooltip will appear showing both the name and mnemonic for the object reference. This might be enough to help you understand the code where no conversion is needed. But if you still want to change or view a section of code differently, select the section of code by clicking and dragging with your cursor. Once selected, hit the Name Mnemonic button. Note that just the selected portion of code was changed, and you can see how many references were changed by looking at the messages in the output window. For more information on Control Basic, check out the other videos in this series. And to learn more about any of the solutions from the Billing Geniuses at KMC, visit us on the web at kmccontrols.com.